Hey guys, Lego Star Wars 888 here, back with a brand new review. Um, so this is my first review for 2012, and I will be doing it on a brand new 2012 Lego Star Wars set. Set number 9488, Elite Clone Trooper and Commando Droid Battle Pack. Age 6 to 12, pieces, uh, there's 98 pieces in the set. Its price is 11.99 in the UK and 12.99 in the USA. Comes with four brand new minifigures, um, all exclusive to this set. Um, so without further ado, we'll start with the Commando Droids. So get two of these guys, um, and they're both exactly the same. So these are new minifigures. They have a, um, a unique headpiece there, which has been designed for the Commando Droids, obviously. Whereas other pieces have been taken off over minifigures, like the torso and arms are from a, a regular battle droid, whereas the legs are off a super battle droid. Um, it comes with a blaster there, a regular blaster, and it comes with red markings on the torso there. And he's a, a dark brown colour, I don't know if you can tell, but he's dark brown. Some people thought they were going to be uh, dark grey when they came out, like the Super Battle Droids, but they're actually a dark brown colour. So you get two of them, which are pretty cool. Next we get a brand new ARF Trooper, different to the one that came in the 2011 Clone Trooper Battle Pack. Um, got the uh, same uh, torso and legs as a regular clone trooper apart from it comes with red arms it comes with a sniper rifle as you can see there it comes with a regular clone trooper head and he comes with a brand new markings on his helmet to make him a, a new minifigure but, um, it comes with red markings on the helmet with some blue markings on the front and sides there which are both the same on either side of the helmet so that's a pretty cool looking half trooper. Just put him back there. So basically, it's a new half trooper, like being redesigned, you could say. Um, next, we've got an ARC trooper. So the other one was an ARF trooper, this one's an ARC. So this is the ARC trooper. Very detailed minifigure, which looks pretty damn cool. So he's got. Um, light bluish grey piece um, which covers over a regular clone torso a bit like the half troopers to make them fully armoured there. He's got red legs with printing on the legs and the feet which have never been used on any Lego set before or Lego minifigure I should say with printing on the feet as well as the legs. It also comes with like a cloth piece similar to the pauldrons that is uh, usually like as a black skirt type thing which instead of using plastic pieces as you can see it comes with two small um, uh, pistols or blasters you could say which were first used on the clone trooper, uh, green clone commander trooper type thing that was in the 2011 clone trooper battle pack last year um, and it comes with red pauldron on either side of the shoulders there it comes with a backpack just to uh, look at the back of the clone, uh, the arc trooper there now I wanted the helmet if we just put him back down there, underneath he also comes with a regular clone trooper head as well. Looking at his helmet, it comes with a rangefinder there in red, instead of black. Basically, the ARC troopers um, still represents uh, Phase 1 trooper, whereas it's trying to represent the new Phase 2 troopers, so Phase 1 and Phase 2 all in one there. So he's got red markings on either side of his helmet there and there, and it comes with like a bluish grey looking uh, design on his fit uh, on you could say the face of the helmet there which looks pretty cool so overall he's a pretty cool minifigure on the best in the set and the best I've seen for a while anyway it's the arc trooper so we just move the minifigures to one side and we move on to the um the can itself which is uh, pretty good looking there so if we just move it um, it, it's, it's stuck on with a clear piece so you can stay on the stud so it's not like moving around so if you just take it pick it up there and move it so it has a seat there so you put the arc trooper in there like it shows on the box over there so we just put him in there onto the cannon so yeah there's our arc trooper on his cannon there and the cannon itself moves up and down like so, and I have a flip famous underneath, so it, it actually, so it looks a bit like it's coming out with the end of the cannon there. If we move it to the back, 
if we, if we press this here, or push it in, I should say, um, and the flick fire missile should fire out. Try and aim it towards the box there. And I'll just try and clip it down. There we go. Just sort of move around. If we push it. Try and aim towards the box. It did hit the box and bounce back off there as a flick fire missile. So it's pretty nice little feature there. It's quite a good looking set overall. Let's so you just take this flick fire missile and put it back into there. So that's a pretty good looking set overall, like I said. Um, if you don't have this set already, I highly recommend you go out and buy it. The only little nitpick I have for the set is the clones get the, the cannon, but what did the droids get? They just have their guns. It would have been nice if they included um, a, a little turret with a cannon or a little mini weapons um, artillery for the commander droids to fight against the clones because Lego decided to make battle packs as you can see with droids and clones in one battle pack instead of them in separate ones and they've also made like I showed um, I, I don't know if most of you know but they have the Endor Rebel Trooper battle pack with Imperial Troopers in there in that um, set as well so them being separate so they've made them all in one baddies and goodies you could say all in one set or droids and clones and in, uh, rebels and imperials. So let's move on to the box. Um, same little uh, battle pack box they've used all the time. Happen comes with Darth Maul on the box now instead of it being Captain Rex, which is the, they had used for a couple of years. So new Darth Maul. Um, I think they've used him because Star Wars Episode One: The Phantom Menace coming back in the cinemas in 3D. Um, I believe next month or March. So there's the front of the box there, the ARC Trooper and the ARC Trooper fighting off the Commando Droids. On top supposed to show you the ARC Trooper but it's been covered up by a sticker because I got it from Argos. And on the back it shows you again the Commando Droids are fighting the ARC Trooper and ARC Trooper there. And the same there, and you can move the cannon up and down like I showed you. So that's it for this set. Rate it 10 out of 10 for me, if you use 10 out of 10 for the cannon. Yeah, being a very good looking cannon. Like I said, uh, I rate it overall 9.5 because there's nothing for the droids, they just have two blasters to fight against the uh, the arc and arc troopers and the cannon, so they're pretty defenseless really. Unless they uh, make a bigger set for the commander droids, um, you never know. So it's a pretty decent set if you don't already have it. I'd recommend you go out and buy it. I'm going to buy at least a few more, about three or four more, maybe five more. So, it's been me, Lego Star Wars 88, doing a review on the brand new 2012 Lego Star Wars set 9488 Elite Clone Trooper and Commando Droid Battle Pack. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more videos coming soon. Bye.